Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back for a very quick... I'm lying. It probably ain't gonna be quick, but we're gonna try our best. Because this is the last video I have to make so I can continue packing my things up. Because as I told y'all yesterday, the day before, whenever the hell that was, I had one more thing of polish that's coming. Now, it did not come in this pink box. This is the box Max sent me something in years ago, and I thought it was aesthetically pleasing. So, uh, that's why I'm using this box. And they all fit in here. Uh, some people, quick note before I even get started, some people told me that apparently... Um, you were only supposed to be able to get one uh, color scoop box. I did not know that. I thought, well, I went along with what the website said, where it said one scoop per order. So what I did was I made two different orders on two different days. I had no idea that we were only supposed to be able to get one, period. Um, when only one did come, I basically complained that I hadn't got my second order yet, and they just promptly sent it out the same day. So I don't know if it was actually one per household or just one per order, but girl, I got two. Um, so let's get into these beautiful ones. Also, somebody in the comments said uh, some of the either the precious met precious minerals or the fun gels smell like something. I smelled them and, and got a headache. Ain't nothing pleasant. Uh, maybe I missed the bus. Something, mm -mm, it wasn't there for me. Now, we're going to get started with the Space Kitty uh, polishes. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five. Now, these are not like the other ones where they tell you on the top. It's just like this little marker here. Like I said last time, you can't get these fuckers open. And this is 009. And all these are cat eye, if you all didn't know. Ooh. What is up with purple lately? These purples are on point. That's so pretty. Ooh. I can't wait to play around with these. Because I was just telling my sister, she was, um, we were watching some of Max's, um, Max Estrada is the owner of Enel Couture. We was watching some of his videos so I could show her how he used his cat eye um, polish. And she was like, oh, I see where everybody's in love with it. And she's not a ooh, cute, kawaii kind of girl. She's like, oh, we have to play in that. And this is really pretty because the glitter seemed a little bit bigger than normal. I can't wait to see what these look like. And, and to Cat Eye's um, positiveness, the reason why I love them, because normally I'm not the kind of girl that wears just one color over the nail, obviously. I'm normally not that kind of girl, but with, with one of these, oh yes, absolutely. And the last one was 016, sorry I didn't say that. This one is 004. Let me do it this way, I keep forgetting the light is over here. Ooh, this is pretty too. Yeah, normally I'm not the kind of girl where it's like, oh, I'll just take one full nail of a color, but these really do it for me and I will happily do so. The next one is 010. And I double checked these. I don't have any um, duplicates. Like, again, I don't think they sent me any duplicates in the box, but we'll see together. Because, see, this looks kind of similar to the one we just looked at, but they don't have the same number. This has more of a magenta or red undertone than the other one, though. I will say that. While they do look similar, it does have a different undertone. And this last one is just number seven. Now, I also got one of these in the, with a super scoop box, and I'm going to put these all together. Ooh, look at that blue. Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh. Uh, oops, I did. Look, now, let's take this as a lesson. You never shut your polishes when you do the stupid shit I just did. Because then you won't be able to get the damn things open. Uh, excuse me, Assistant Teddy. Can you make this paper towel, please? Or rip me a small piece of paper towel. Because if you close this, and I don't want to put it on my hands, it's going to go on my hands everywhere. If you close this, and when you know full well that there's access, you ain't gonna have nothing but problems. So just take a minute, clean it up, be responsible, just clean it up. Thank you, assistant. But that is really pretty. Yeah, that's the um, downside of kind of like trying to pop these open like that. If you do it a little too much gusto, girl, they're gonna be everywhere. Now... And I looked these uh, looked into because I seen the last couple of videos that these I didn't know the difference between the um, types of gel. Like obviously this is a cat eye and this isn't. But on his website it just simply they're just in different collections. I thought maybe it was all glitter, one was all planes. No, they're just I don't. I, said, I know these are full size. I know that these are 
15 milliliters as well. So at least you know if you get the cat eye, you are getting full size polishes. Because again, these fun gels and the precious minerals are only 10 milliliters. Now, he also has a precious mineral that is shaped kind of like this, a circle. And then it has like a polish on the back, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, if you all shop there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know how many... I don't know how many milliliters those are, but those are also precious minerals. Again, I don't know why it's a different shape, girl. I don't work her. This one is called, it's 184. They don't have names. Not that I know, anyway. Ooh. This one's pretty, too. I can, I can see something with that. I don't know exactly what I would do with it, but I can see it. Like I said, sometimes, you get, I like getting stuff like this because the colors kind of push you out of your comfort zone sometimes. Now this looks very plain on top and again I love that all his polishes besides the obvious cat eye have little things on top. You can see what they are. What they are. I'll give you a, a, a little hint to what they look like. So if you're like me and now own over 100 fucking gel polishes that are this damn big, you kind of know what you're getting into or you can separate them by color. Like what I plan on doing when I move. But anyway, this is 176. Ooh, that'd be a fucking headache. Do I have to get something to hold all these polish, girl? No. This shit's going in a bucket. 176. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, is it, I don't know how to describe that other than dusty, and I know that's not polite, but I don't mean it in a negative way. It just kind of reminds me of like a dusty rose. Again, that'd be great to have like a background color to like build a design on. You know, something. Because sometimes you do nail design, I don't like the background to be clear. So that'd be good for that. Now, I don't know if I have this color already, 174. This one does look like a, a, one from a prior. Excuse me. Either from the color box, color scoop before or the uh, the super scoop. So this may be a repeat. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. But these are absolutely beautiful colors. Take my time. Oop, I almost did it again. Take my time. Put it back in. Because I want to show y'all the colors, but I don't want to do something dumb where, again, it's polished everywhere. Okay. Two more of these. Okay, and again, this is 24 for the people that don't know. This was a sale where you got 24 colors for $50. Normally, all of his polishes are at least $9.99. Every one of them. That's top coat, base coat, matte coat, uh, the uh, rubber base that you can put around your nails, Wonder Gel, all that shit is normally at least $10. So 25, 24, I'm sorry, for $50 is a steal. Now this looks a little metallic. This is $148. Let's try to get this sucker off. Ooh, this would have been a really pretty uh, cat eye as well. This is really pretty. I don't know why when I look at this, the first word I think of is molten. I need to start writing poetry. I think I'd be good at that. Uh, this color is 183. And as y'all can see, it's kind of chunky. Now, I know he has some chunky glitter that I've uh, shown y'all before, but I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Not in, the, not in this orange. This is really pretty. You know, this would be extra as hell on your toenails, but I know they tell you not to put gel nails on your toes, and a lot of people like to argue against that, but from my understanding, it's because you, not that you can't soak off gel polish, but, uh, I don't know, because, yeah, you can't soak off gel polish. Maybe they just don't want your whole feet and acid tone, girl, I don't know. This is 146. Is this 148? No, 183. I mean, that's a huge jump in color. This is 146. Again, I don't know if this is the one I have already. Because it looks familiar. It looks familiar. I could be wrong. But this is really pretty, too. These, these polishes go very well with the Fashion Nova outfits I got. Um, I did some videos. Five. Uh, Teddy Good News has just got done editing them. So all I gotta do is edit my own intro for my clothing haul. And that will be up soon. It depends on how much bullshit I can pack and how fast, y'all. As of right now, it's 1 a.m. I'm going to try my best to do this and then blow through a lot of this stuff. And we'll see where that gets us. But this, again, is a, uh, another chunky s color. Let me see where my hands are. Another chunky s color. Fun Gel version, 62. I don't know if you all can see that. Because today's review, I am, well, unboxing. I am sitting down. The last video I did stand up, my back was hurting like hell. Because I was like trying to bend over to make sure like I was in visual for you all. But even me just sitting my hands here, I'm still where y'all can see it, technically. Okay. Okay. Again, this is giving a celebration. I'm telling you. 
a lot of these glitters would be great for celebrations, get-togethers, where you don't want to do a whole lot to your nails, but you still want people to notice you, you know? Now, this is a depression. Let me just do the funny gels first. Like I keep saying it. Another fun gel. This is number 11. Very cute iridis iridescent. That was the word of the day yesterday. Uh, I don't know if it's the same as the two I already have, but we'll find out as I pack all this up. Because, like I said, as of right now, those polishes are already put up. Now, this is really pretty. And the thing that I'm liking about these iridescent um, colors are, because even though he has so many, they're not the same thing. Some are kind of similar, but they're not the same thing. So, for the people that love glitter, sometimes you want a little glitter, sometimes you want a lot. It's nice to have, you know. Girls, it's the same thing. I think I said this earlier. No, nope, one's 11 and one is 14. If y'all can see that, hell. So let's look at 14. They almost look... Oh, I said this earlier when I talked to my sister. The difference between these two is like the undertones to me. But now that I'm looking under the light, they still kind of look similar. But this one on the right pulls more pink where the iridescent like flex are. And this one pulls more green. I don't know if y'all can see that. But other than that, they do look very similar. Yeah, see out of the bottle, you can really see it. This pulls more green. Or yellow, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be green. But very similar. Damn, I got a shit ton of funny. No, I don't. I'm about to say I got a whole bunch of fun gels, don't I? Okay, here's another fun gel, another glitter. 65. Now, is this the same thing as this? Nope. See, that's what I'm talking about. 62 and 65. They're close in number. And they lightweight look similar in the top anyway. I got it. Don't worry. I feel like I'm gonna blow on a damn blood vessel. Similar, but this is super chunky. I ain't gonna play around. Look how thick it is, where I can just. But when I say thick, I don't mean thick like, oh, worn, like the condition of the polish itself. When I say thick, I mean it's a chunky glitter in there. It's only gonna be so much movement because how much glitter and stuff is in there. So I don't I don't mean it that way. Uh okay, wait, no, I got two more. Here's another fun gel. This is 18. Y'all can see that. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Because, like, you see this normal little glitters, but these are little white dots. So I don't know exactly what this is going to look like. Oh. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. Could you use it? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to get it again. Let the, let the polish go down, Royal. Let, let the polish... Hold on, y'all. Okay, you have technical difficulties. And the last thing I need is for this to pop back out and be gross. It reminds me, and I don't mean to be lewd. That ain't even lewd. It reminds me of baby vomit. You know, like when you give a baby, anybody that's like fed a baby, and you give them milk and they spit the milk up, and the milk's like all undigested and shit. That's what it looks like to me, and I ain't gonna lie. It's a little bothersome. Now, this was another precious mineral. It's 179. This kind of looks like this. Like on a smaller scale type shit. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. God Locked by Jesus himself. Oh, let me do it this way so you can see. Yes, it looks very similar. Except like this has a more of a yellow undertone. Where the other one had a... Uh, this one has gold undertone. Where the other one... Oh, I'm going to do it again. More of a gold undertone. Where the other one had an orange undertone. And girl, these are full... And looking inside, there, I don't know if y'all can see, but looking inside, that that polish is sitting right there. He ain't bullshitting y'all on polish. They fool. Here's another one. It's 204. Ooh. It's giving ice cream. It's giving summer. It's giving Christmas. I feel like this would be good for whatever you want it to be for. I like this. Would I have bought it on my own? Probably not. But I like it. Now, here is another one, 201. And I think the, the another reason I make these videos is for the people that even if they miss the sale, if you want to go back and just buy some of his polishes, at least you know. And the whole point of my uh, channels, because I have more than one, is I like to create like a personal, intimate environment, but I also like my shit to be, in, you know, educational, informal. I want you to leave with some kind of goddamn information with a little bit of cuss words, you know what I'm saying? So if watching my video helps you feel like, oh, I like this shade of red, or let me give this a try, you know that helps, so I'm trying to make, without swatching them, because like I said before, 
All my all my shit is gone, packed up. This is literally the last thing I haven't packed up nail related. I have a couple of nail polishes I'm gonna throw in with this box. So I can't swatch them because I just don't have any of my stuff out. But in the future, I may. Again, this is 201. Really cold. Pretty. It looks a little peachy. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. This is going to be a problem for me. This is pretty. Ooh. That's pretty. That might be a favorite of mine. Like I said, normally I'm not a full color girl, but some just... Now this one, I feel like I may have gotten before in one of these big bottles. This is 208. Fuck. Jesus. Yes, but this is nice. Even though it's chunky, it's nice and thick. This is nice. I like this. That's what I said, regardless of whether I'd have personally picked these colors or not, they're all some you could definitely work with that you like. You can't have 50 polishes, 60, 70 polishes with somebody and be like, I don't know what I want to use. Or I don't, no, not me. Oop, is another fun gel. 24. Oh my god, my sister just showed me that on her little. What is that game called? Moy Cafe 2, that the turn up girl from uh, Damn Animal Crossing is there. Anyway, this looks like just a straight silver. This is something everybody needs. Uh, 24 Hill. I needed it the other day when I did this. Well, not the other day. But I needed this a couple of weeks ago when I did this nail design. Again, I got a one nail because I'm in the process of moving. So I just figured, fuck it, I might as well take them off. Now, these are, this is a nice color that I would normally use. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. This is something I would normally use for, like, accents. So I know when I used to go to the nail shop, they would use colors like this uh, in a liner, obviously, to like give rather dazzle. So look, just look how much better that looks right off the bat with the silver. And even though um, I feel like gold fits me better because it's close to my undertone. Something about having spaces filled in with silver glitter just does it for you. Now, just to get up, if I say if my phone will focus, oh, let me see. Because I want you to be able to see what I'm talking about. Let me see. Yeah, so if you can see, just from where I put the, the new silver on top versus the bottom, there is actually glitter right here in this line between these two blacks that you can't even see. And there's also glitter right here between these two blacks. Let me get back in focus. That you can barely see. See the difference in. God damn it, camera. See the difference. I'm trying to show y'all anyway. There we go. Get further away. See the difference in like vibrancy of the two silvers? Night and day. So when I did the design, I was actually looking for a silver that looked like this, but I couldn't goddamn find one. Got one now. So see again, even if it's not a color you use all over your nail, there's definitely ways to use all these colors and stuff like that. So don't, don't throw them away. Don't. Not waste them, because that's rude, but give it some thought a little bit before you just be like, phew, gone. Now, I'm going to take this off so this don't get on nothing else. But yeah, look, now that the glitter is gone, see, you can't see glitter at all. So see how much of a difference they just made in just this nail art alone? I'm telling y'all. Okay, so I don't know what this about to look like. Did I do this one? Is this the same as this one? No, see what I'm talking about? 18, 182. Do them not look similar to you? The only difference between this one on the left, let me make sure I'm in camera. The only difference between this one on the left and the one on the right, this is just straight white dots, and this one on the left has some little pieces of silver in it. But they're not even the same line, let alone number. Sorry, I couldn't get it open. Okay, this one's a little bit more tolerable. I think it's because it has the silver in it as well. Like I said, the other one kind of reminded me of Baby Vomit. But to be more positive, now that I think about it, they actually remind me of a plant called Baby's Breath. Um, now that I'm like really looking at it. Because, yeah, with that silver, it like irons out. I think the little white dots alone is a little too much for me. It triggered something in me. Now, this one's 203. It's another Precious Minerals. And this just looks white. But let me get up close so y'all can see it if it... If y'all can. It looks white, but there's some iridescent glitters in this. 
see if we can see him. Yeah, so I hope y'all can see that I'm turning around. It looks white. It may be like milky. Like a milky white, which a lot of people like and are looking for. Because you can never have too many milky whites. Like, to, even if you did, even if you're not good at like uh, in beds uh, with acrylic apology or something like that, it'd be nice like to put some stickers on your nails maybe and just use a milky color like this to get like the same effect. Cause girl, don't nobody know that what you did and how you laid it. Ain't nobody's damn business. The point is the nails look good. Did you get the look you was wanting? Now this is the last one. This is 213. Sorry if y'all can't see these numbers. I didn't I didn't choose that that background. Get up. And this is really pretty as well. It's black, but it also may be a jelly from what it looks like. This is really pretty. This is really giving party. It's really pretty. So currently, okay, that's all the polishes. That's a great thing. We're done with that. Let me see how long the video is. Oop, we write it 20 minutes. So um, currently, I now have all the polishes from him that I um, ordered. The only other scoop sale he has that I checked not too long ago, because like I said, I've been in my room trying to activate a phone and some other bullshit that I'm gonna have to go and argue with Verizon about. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, uh, I was thinking about anyway, doing some kind of other giveaway. I know somebody reached out to me and told me they were interested in some polishes. If there was some I was not interested in, um, but I'm trying to think about a way besides that to um, also maybe do some more giveaways and stuff in the future. Because like I said, I'll be moving relatively soon, so it won't be like, it'll probably be like towards the end of the month, maybe. Maybe like a, a spring break, spring, like the beginning of April kind of thing. Because I should be officially moved in and everything by the end. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing something. I know some of you all said that, uh, gave me some suggestions that I always appreciate. Uh, about doing like some nail art where my followers send in some um, images for me to recreate, whether they're theirs or somebody they like. And I was thinking maybe we just do like a hashtag and I'll let you all know what that hashtag is on something like Instagram or something like this. You know, something simple that I can click and here's all the pictures in one. Like, I'm not a guru or anything. You know, I've heard of that kind of stuff on the internet. Um, maybe we could do something like that. So, yeah, I could just click the little hashtag and y'all could just do the hashtag yourself and that way I can see all the little things in one uh, page on Instagram. And we could just pick one every week and do some. And, girl, let me tell you something right now. I ain't the best at shit, okay? I'm going to try my best, but don't y'all get in them comments talking crazy to me. Because my butterfly ain't butterfly. Or because the star ain't starring. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. Don't don't beat me down. My self-esteem ain't what it sound like. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a fantastic idea. Shout out to the um, uh, to the follower that told me that. I can't remember your name off the top of my head, but shout out to you. I appreciate that. And I read every one of y'all comments. I try to respond to everyone. It means a lot to me. I thank y'all so much for the interaction. Even if it's just a hey girl, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, it you know, it keeps you going to make more content. So, um... I'm going to get off here and uh, finish packing before I run out of time and be running around here like a chick on my head cut off. Uh, but I will edit this and put this up shortly. See you later, bye.